So today we're going to tackle this beast of the garage again. Let's see if my hubby and I can survive without getting into it today. It's a big goal, but hopefully we can do it. So today we finally started tackling my husband's garage because there's a lot of my decor in here. So I definitely wanted to look through some of it. So what if I'm gone forever? What are you going to do with my stuff, Cruiser? Are you going to donate it to Goodwill? <laughs> God forbid. Where's it going to go? Where's it going to go, old man? Oh, geezer? Where are you going to send it to? It's not. You're going to call the trash truck? Is that it? The city trash truck? That's messed up. <laughs> Should I do the same thing with your stuff? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ricky Ricardo. Yeah. Can we play nice today, honey? <laughs> Triggering him already. <laughs> Some items already. Feeling good about this. How's it for this? It's uh, crushed in. So, does it have anything? No. Okay, so we're getting rid of that. What happened? What happened? Don't tell me it got wet. It got wet, didn't it? Got a box, we've got a winner. I already looked at this, but I'm gonna look at it again. Yeah. This stuff. Oh, I didn't know that. What? Why are you throwing pumpkins everywhere? Oh. Yeah, I think I already looked through this. Yeah. I mean, if I could get rid of one item, that would be nice. But I don't know what. I think I'm actually gonna get rid of this one. I'm getting rid of this one. That's two items from there. Okay, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's pretty, but it's gotta go. I'm gonna get rid of her too. He's fussing over there. He's fussy, fussy. Let's see what's in this one. It looks like Halloween still. It's what I have the most stuff. Actually, Halloween and Christmas. These are so pretty. So, I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's cute and rustic, but it's gotta go. This one kind of, all this stuff goes with the headless horseman. But I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's okay. I don't need that it's plastic. This is cool though. I do want to keep this one for them. I'm gonna get rid of this sign. Yeah, no, this one I'm keeping. This is really. These are nice, but I'm gonna get rid of them. They're from the Dollar Tree. So we got an empty bin. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. Hope that was not too hard to get rid of. These may not be the case so much. Actually, I might get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of these. These are pretty, but it's not my style, really. Oh, definitely going to get rid of this one. Do you guys remember this from the 99? They were super popular. Is this for my baby's uh, baptism? Not the butterflies, but the other part, I'll keep that. Let's see what else is in here. I guess this is an unboxing now. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure. Let me see, what is this? Okay, this is nice, but I'm gonna get rid of it. There we go. I wanna keep them. I'm gonna get rid of these. Probably gonna get rid of these too, I think. They're pretty, but gotta go. What is all this? 
sequins. Okay, these bats have to go. I used them last year already. I'm not gonna wanna use them again. Note to myself, no more plastic, cheapy looking stuff. I think I'm getting rid of her too. Looks like a pineapple. Gotta go. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, these are nice. You guys remember these from the 99? I kind of want to keep these, so I'll keep them. That's all I could get out of this box. These are nice, but eventually they're going to lose their glitter and it's just holding up space. Not going to use them soon. And then I'm going to hang on to these. Eventually I may change my mind and still get rid of some of these, but sometimes you're just not ready to. So these little headless horseman babies, they're gonna go in my garage. I'm gonna have to make some space somewhere for them. But I do wanna keep those little pieces. And look, I already have that one box, two boxes going. It feels good. Feels good to declutter. Let's check this one out. Wowza! Lots and lots of goodies. Yeah, I love pumpkins and fall time. So you guys know this is gonna be difficult, but it's gotta be done. I'm gonna start with these, which I never, I'm not much of a DIYer, so they're gonna go. Same thing with these cuties. Same thing with this. It's lost his head. And there's more of these. And they still smell good. My tree's gonna stay. She is a beauty. But these are all gonna go. This is too small. This is too chintzy or cheapy. These are cute. They smell good. Getting me into the fall spirit. Let's see. These are kind of small. They're gonna go too. Let's see what else. What else? What else? What the heck? Oh, these are some pine cone candle holders. That's gonna go. Okay, I definitely wanna keep these. Oh, okay. I'm gonna keep those. So I'm also getting rid of this one. It's nice, but it's too yarny. Too much yarn. That one too, and I'm getting rid of this whole bag of potpourri and chintzy looking things. So yeah, look, there's the other. These are kind of cool, but the guts to go, the guts to go. I was a bit upset because we have about 20 Halloween <laughs> bins and my goal is to have five, but that was not gonna happen today. It is what it is. We have to whack at this one day at a time. There's another gray, another yarn looking one. I'm gonna go into this one, it says fragile, but I don't think it's fragile. Yeah, okay. This is a cute, look, cutie pie, but he's gotta go. I'm gonna get rid of pink. Because I'm not doing pink Halloween anymore. And what's in here? Oh, this one I'm gonna keep the little branches over here. I didn't see any paper. These are all so pretty, look, but they gotta go. Lots of pumpkins gotta yes. go. We're living La Veda Loca. I mean living La Vida Loca Veda. <laughs> I just need four uh, trash trucks and uh, believe me, it's going to be nice and clean. Four trash trucks, that's it? I think we need more than just four. For this, no, just for this one, just four. <laughs> for the garage, two garages? We need like about at least 10 trash trucks. He's calling my stuff junk. So mean. <laughs> 
so he got a little feisty today but not much not as as bad as it's been other days i am getting rid of these napkins because i find that they're so super wrinkled i'm not about to iron them and they're thrifted so off they go i'm gonna keep some of these most of these actually and then i'm gonna give this to miss rita she's a baker and she would love that i told my hubby that i was frustrated because i was trying to record and there was people working out there with their machine saws and i made it a noise of how they were like just in the way with their sounds and he was mimicking the sound that i was making Supposed to get over here oh my god pancho villa <laughs> well we made it friends we did not get into it today no fights which, Cinco de Mayo, friends. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo is over. <laughs> just do it. Just do it. That's what we did in this garage. Garage. We just did it. So we made a little dent over there, but it still got back filled up because we had to put more yeah, the stuff you. back in there. Thank you. And then this furniture that he cluttered us up with, but my son needs it, so I think it's gonna be good for him. We're putting this one back in. And I'm getting rid of that box right there, which is full of Halloween stuff. And I'm getting rid of this humongous bag and that box and this. Do you guys remember these are so cute? These, you remember? These are so nice. Like they're actually expensive Christmas, old world Christmas Santas but we're gonna get rid of them because they're too big look how pretty they are they're so realistic but my son's got freaked out with them because they look so real look at their faces so I think we're just gonna get rid of them I kind of feel like they're haunted <laughs> But I might remove like the little, I don't know. <sighs> so, yep. Not much progress in the front, but the middle got decluttered. So, hmm, not sure if that was worth it. We're going to whack away at this one little thing at a time. Are you ready for New Year's again? <laughs> You're so beautiful. I have a lot of these bags full of florals and stems and I definitely want to downsize on these. I guess it's going to be an end of an era for me too. With my decor. End of an era of decorating with faux flowers. But they're so pretty though, some of them are even new. They're so beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, it was super difficult to get rid of these florals, mostly because these are new. I never even got to use them, but I feel like they're getting smashed and I'm probably not gonna want to use them. And also the other colors, I really wanna just force myself to stay with more neutral, elegant looks and do away with all these little colors. They're so super cute, but that's not my vibe this year. I did like this though. Come in, my pretties. He's uh, born to be wild. <laughs> You're gonna make it happen. Okay, let's get to decorating, boy. Born to be wild. <laughs> At this point, I'm basically getting rid of things that I don't want to, like these beautiful little vessels from Dollar Tree I think they are and they're so very cute for Halloween but again they're colorful and I need to do away with them this is another super difficult because it is neutral it's a, a black beautiful big pumpkin that was a mouthful and I just really love that velvety look but again I'm trying to make space and in that spirit my hubby and I decided to clear this secretary i don't know what you call it but it's a furniture piece that we actually found somewhere and we used it it served its purpose now it has to go so my husband just hauled it out of here 
and we are trying to make a little bit more space in his garage these are my blender attachments and those actually will belong in the kitchen so i'm gonna take those in okay well that's gonna be a christmas gift opening right now <laughs> and it's not christmas so i had a feeling these were plates but let's see which ones oh my gosh they're the black and white ones with gold these are from walmart oh my god these are so beautiful no wonder i couldn't find them to use them i haven't even opened them goodness gracious lord why are you hiding my plates husband why are you hiding my plates that's not cool Leo. i mean cool <laughs> why are you hiding my plates honey I see you over there trying to hide and avoid me my question okay look these are so pretty eat drink and be scary this one is trick-or-treat it's cute but it's gotta go and the trick is to get rid of them before you can continue seeing them once you made the choice so off they go there's my hubby being silly <laughs> Christmas. It's not Christmas. Look, he's using his little knee pad kneeler thing. Go ahead. <laughs> he's demonstrating. And the last final were these plates that were in there, which I'm going to get rid of. Give them to Miss Rita. So that is about it for today, friends. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to live well, healthy, happy, and organized. Many blessings. And let me know if you want to see more of these decluttering videos. I'd like to know. Thanks for watching.